This is a part of trauma healing that most people ignore. And this is part of why so many people have not yet healed from trauma. So we're going to get into it in just a second. But if you are new to the channel, you don't know who I am. My name is Jordan Hardgrave. I once suffered with debilitating complex trauma for many years. And I was trying to use my mind to overcome the symptoms. I was taught that I just needed to accept my symptoms. I needed to distract away from them. Just all these mental uh, techniques. And it didn't work for me. Um, it worked for a little while with some of these techniques, but ultimately the symptoms just kept coming back again and again and again. And I finally started to use my body to heal. And that's whenever I got the breakthrough, I became symptom free. And now I've spent the last number of years helping other people heal as well. So if that's you, you're struggling with trauma, make sure to, uh, click the subscribe button. Also like this, if you want to, uh, support us on our mission to reach a billion people with, uh, trauma education, trauma healing, watch the entire video too. That'll help us out and comment below if you have any questions, the missing ingredient in trauma healing that most people do not address is interoception. Interoception is the experience of the embodied self. It's your ability to feel what's happening in your physiology in real time. But what ends up happening is people start to feel really bad. They feel a lot of pain in their body, tension, energy, negative emotion, and they haven't been taught how to self-regulate, which is how you release those things. And so they do the only thing that they can do, which is they revert to living in their head and they also begin to numb their body in various ways, whether it's alcohol, whether it's food, porn, um, you name it. There's a lot of different ways. And if they're living in their head, you know, they're dwelling on the past, they're living in the future, they're daydreaming. Some people obsess over existence. Some people obsess over people's opinions of them. Some people start to pursue academic knowledge. I actually know somebody that says dissociation uh, got them two PhDs because they were just constantly uh, in their head uh, ascertaining academic knowledge. And that was a way for them to escape interoception. As long as they're in their head. They didn't have to feel what was happening in their body. This is a problem. It's a big, big, big problem because interoception is how we know whenever things are going wrong in our life, particularly whenever we're connected to the wrong people, whenever we're overworking ourselves, whenever we are just in a bad situation that we need to get out of, or maybe we need to set up boundaries, our body is going to tell us. But if you're not in your body and you're in your head and you're also doing things to numb your body, then you're not going to pick up on the signals. They're oftentimes very subtle. And what ends up happening is you're overworking yourself or you're in a really toxic or even abusive relationship or a job that's way overworking you or just isn't healthy for you, or you're just giving out more energy than you have to give. Even good people sometimes can end up draining you because you just haven't set up a boundary to say no. And the reason why you haven't set up a boundary to say no is because you're not even listening to your body anymore. Fatigue has become normal for you. And no judgment, this was me for many years too. And instead of feeling your body say no, and you make the appropriate adjustments in your life, whatever that looks like, walking away from situations or setting up boundaries or whatever, as well as self-regulating, changing what's happening in your body, you just keep muscling your way through. You can get away with this for a while, and this is why it's so difficult to explain this to people who haven't started to experience debilitating symptoms because they're making it, they're managing, right? They're able to make it through their day, but eventually it will catch up to you. You will have to face your body eventually. And that's really what trauma is. It's, it's a state of nervous system overwhelm. It's where now you, you can't muscle your way through anymore. These symptoms are so debilitating that it causes a lot of people to have to quit their job. It causes a lot of people to have to stop going to school. It ruins relationships. It's like, 
you've muscled your way through life for so long and now there's so much buildup of tension and energy and emotion and fatigue in the body that your body thinks that you're being eaten by a lion. That's how exhausted that you are. Think about it. Trauma, which is a state of nervous system overwhelm, happens whenever you can't fight or flee. And then you enter what's called the freeze response. That's what a trauma response is. It's a, it's the freeze response. And the freeze response is designed to mitigate the pain of being eaten by a lion. Let's say you were trying to fight a lion, you couldn't fight it, so you try to run away, and then all of a sudden you're running out of energy. You're exhausted. <sighs> guess what's gonna to start to happen? There's a procedure. It's called the freeze response. It's also called the shutdown response. Your nervous system is going to access um, the dorsal vagal branch of the parasympathetic nervous system and start to prepare to be eaten. That's what the depersonalization is about. That's what the derealization is about. That's what the emotional numbness is about. That's what the distortion and perception of time is about. That's what the memory issues are about. That's what all these symptoms are about, is your body is preparing you to be eaten by a lion. Here's the trap. Here's the sad reality for millions, maybe even billions of people that enter this state. They think that the symptoms are the problem. And they get into a one-on-one -on -one with the symptoms. And they're looking all over the internet. They're going to their therapist. They're going to their doctor. I've got these symptoms. These symptoms are the problem. When in reality, the symptoms are not the problem. They're the solution. Now, they are a solution to a problem that technically doesn't exist because you're most likely not in any existential danger. But nonetheless, there's such a buildup of stress and fatigue in your body that your nervous system thinks that you're about to be eaten by a lion, thinks that there is an existential threat. So healing is not in getting these symptoms to shut off directly. Like let's say there's an apple tree. If there's an apple tree and you want to get rid of the apples, you don't pick the apples. They're just going to keep growing back. And that's like symptom management. If you try to use acceptance, distraction, all this stuff, it may work for a little while, but then all of a sudden the apple grows back. The symptoms come back. You got to get to the root. That's how you deal with the apples. And whenever it comes to trauma, trauma is a body that is overwhelmed. You've got to get to the root by starting to feel what's happening in your body. And that is interoception. And I got to be honest with you, at first, it's going to be pretty overwhelming. I always tell people, whenever I started to get back in tune with my body again, it was like I was becoming aware of a grand finale fireworks show that was happening my entire life that I had just been completely unaware of because I was up here. That's where I lived. I was always in my head. I was just like a brain floating around. It's like I didn't even have a body. And because I was not in tune with the signals that my body was telling me, I ended up in very abusive relationships. I ended up working jobs that were abusive, like way overworking me. I ended up saying yes to people. I became a people pleaser. And even if my body was trying to tell me no, I wasn't feeling it. And I just said yes to everything all the time. And I was absolutely exhausted. And so part of how I healed and a big part of how I help other people heal is you got to start listening to your body again. And you want to know what? There will be a cost. And you know what I've learned after working with thousands of trauma sufferers? Not everybody's willing to pay that cost. Because you know what? Sometimes you being exhausted all the time is going to make you a lot of money. Because you're able to put in those 80 to 90 hours whenever you really don't have the energy for it. It's also going to save you from ticking people off sometimes. Because sometimes people want you to do things that you don't have the energy for. And you're going to have to tell them in a kind way, I can't do this. And some people, most people, if they're good people, won't be upset with you. But some people are going to be upset. You're, you're going to have to give up some people liking you. You may have to give up money. You might have to change jobs. You might have to give up your romantic relationship. Because all of a sudden you realize that you're in a nervous system war zone, which is an environment that's highly aggressive, highly punitive, highly unstable, highly unpredictable, highly chaotic. And now because you start to feel what's happening in your body again, you start to realize, wait a second. 
I'm either going to have to leave this relationship or I'm going to have to continue to just stay checked out and live up here and numb my body. And that can't be an option anymore for you. Like, this is what I tell trauma sufferers. For us to get you out of this, you have to make your health number one priority. You have to be willing to pay any price if you're going to get out of this. But what I will tell you is while you might have to make some pretty significant short-term sacrifices, the long-term benefit is you're going to have peace again. You're going to be able to be calm. You're going to be able to be in the present moment again because now your body is not this place of chaos. And of course, you're not going to have to deal with these symptoms anymore because now we've dealt with the root. Whenever you deal with the root of the apple tree, the apples automatically fall off. And that's what happens whenever you start to get back into your body and listen to your body and set up the appropriate boundaries and disconnect from the people and situations that you don't need to be a part of and learn how to uh, calm the body, release tension, energy, and emotion, and self-regulate. You're going to feel human again, and you're going to realize that life has been happening and you have not been experiencing it because you've been up here. So are you ready to start listening to your body again. Well, if you are, uh, make sure to watch the five shifts, teal from trauma, anxiety, panic attacks, depersonalization, realization. I go over uh, a few techniques that you can use to build interoception, as well as kind of just the five shifts that you need to make from he to heal from those symptoms in general. It will change your life. There's a link below. And also at the end of that, there is a link if you wanted to apply to work with me and my team uh, to help you overcome these symptoms. Uh, you could also apply for that if you qualify. All right, that is it. Stay strong, my friend. You have what it takes to heal. I hope this added a lot of value to you, and I will talk to you very soon.